you know what we're doing. We're going to study a couple of cases. The cases have to do with headache. That's where we're going to start today. They have to do with high blood pressure, which is what our headache case turns out to have. And it has to do with the second case, which we'll spend less time on, with depression. One of the educational objectives we have in our medical school is to improve the effectiveness of communication skills for students. So could multimedia somehow get involved in that process? This is a famous painting called The Gross Clinic. And I think I like to start with this because it again demonstrates that in the history of medicine, the role of visuality and the role of presentation has always been primary. What surprised me is how quickly students can become effective in doing multimedia presentations. Without IML, this wouldn't have happened. And the second most common is people probably feel headaches in the occipital region or the ear or the throat. And it's more common in girls than boys. They're mainly in children. And usually, if you talk to the patient, they'll have a history of migraines. We have developed information originated by students far in excess of what I could have done as an individual instructor. The structure that's been developed could easily be expanded to include many more cases.